Hello and welcome to the section of Calculus Extra Practice with Integration. In this section we want to, to learn how to calculate the area that lies between two curves, right? So a lot of what we've discussed so far has all been learning how to calculate integrals and teaching you that the integral is really the area under the curve all the way down to the x-axis. But occasionally um, you'll be given two curves and you'll want to find what is the area between those two curves. So that's what we're going to learn how to do today. And the easiest way to handle it or to talk about it is to draw a quick picture. So let me draw a quick little set of, you know, x, y um, axes here. And let me draw a couple of things on this axis. So let's first of all draw uh, some curve, could be any shape, we'll call it f of x. And let's draw some dash lines and let's say this is a and this is b. So if I asked you, how do you find the area under the curve of f of x from a to b? How would you do that? Well, you'd be pretty easy. We've done that a lot. All you would do is integrate f of x, uh, the function, from a to b as your limits of integration, and that's going to yield the area under this curve, all the way down from the, the curve, all the way down to the x-axis. That's what we've talked about uh, up until this point. Now, what if I gave you another curve, and I said, okay, here's g of x, g of x looks different. I'll put g of x here. And I said, how do you find the area under the g of x curve to the x-axis between a and b? And you would say, well, that's easy. I just integrate g of x uh, between a and b as my limits of integration. And that's going to give me the surface area all the way from this graph all the way down to the x-axis. So we know how to find the areas under these curves. Now, if I told you, how do you find the surface area between the f graph and the g graph. In other words, how would you actually find the surface area here? This surface area. Not all the way down to the x-axis, but just between the two graphs. How do you find that? Right? So I'm going to label that a, let's say. How do you find that? Well, if you think about it, if the integral of this is from this curve all the way down, and the integral of this is from this curve all the way down, then I should be able to find the area between them by just subtracting the integrals. Because basically, if I subtract this entire area, and then I, if I take this entire area, and then I subtract this area, whatever it lies down here, the difference between the two areas is going to be what's between them. And that's exactly what it is. And there's really nothing else to it other than that concept. So the area I'm defining as A. In this case, I've labeled A being the, the uh, uh, the, the, the region between the two curves here is just equal to the integral of f of x minus g of x dx and integrated from a to b because you have to go along some boundary. So this is really, this is really it. There's nothing, nothing else to it than that. So you just take the two functions, you subtract them, and you integrate them. Now there's, you know, there are a couple ways you could do it. You could integrate from a to b f of x and get the answer. And then you could integrate g of x from a to b and get the answer. And you could take those two separate answers and you can subtract them. Um, but you're going to get exactly the same thing that you get by subtracting the functions and then integrating them. Because we've already talked about that when you integrate two functions that are added or subtracted, it's like integrating the first one and integrating the second one, and then just, in this case, subtracting two. So this is how it's typically written in a calculus book. But what you're really doing is taking the area of, under the first one minus the area under the second one, and that's how we're getting our answers.